For Pete's sake, the Miners and Aggies are fired up for this one. Round two of the Battle of I-10 is on tap for Tuesday in Las Cruces. Today, the Utah and New Mexico State cheerleaders join forces for some fun to get ready for tomorrow's rivalry clash. And if the cheerleaders and mascots are ready, well, then you know the players are. Back on November the 12th, UTEP snapped a nine-game losing streak to New Mexico State with an impressive win that showed off the Miners' new roster. Now, it's the Aggies' turn to hold start serve at home, and they've come together a bit more since that loss three weeks ago. The Aggies picked up a bit of momentum in a run to the Cayman Islands Classic Championship game last week, and Chris Jan said his team has improved since mid-November in El Paso. The question is, how much? And against the Miners' team looking to snap a 13-game road losing streak, Things won't be easy. I'm certain that we've gotten better since that game, uh, but at the same time, I'm sure they have too. They were the better basketball team at that point. You know, tomorrow we'll find out, you know, where we're at uh, comparative to to where we were when we played them the first time, and we've got to be much better if we want to win the game. They were well put together when they played us here. I mean, we just uh, we just uh, we just came out with the victory, but I mean that's a well put together team. Like I said, well coached, and uh, I know that we got the win the first time, so we got go, them guys gonna be ready to play us this time. So we just gotta come in there and match the intensity. Will UTEP sweep the season series? Will New Mexico State get a signature early season win? Find out at 7 p.m. Tuesday at the Pan American Center.